this is the situation. I drove up to Parkland again on the quest for a new species, the Eastern Happy Sickle. I was up here about six weeks ago, spent all day fishing, caught I think it was 40 fish, but I went home disappointed because I did not catch one. So we are back here today on the same pond. I know that they've been caught here in the past, just not recently. The last time I've been able to confirm that an Eastern Happy was caught here was about a year and a half ago. So anecdotally, I, I, there are some reports that they are becoming rarer and rarer. Uh, as I guess they kind of died off in the cold, some people kept them, so their population isn't too good. Haven't seen any here, but they used to be in here. I'm still hopeful that there's some in here. Hopeful I could catch one. If I get nothing here, I'm probably gonna head over to a little uh, canal that's nearby, see if they're in there. Because again, I know they've been caught there, just not recently. So I hope there's still a breeding population of these guys here. Uh, so let's get started fishing. I'm going to pause right here for a second so I can show you a very high resolution, high detailed picture of what one of these guys looks like. Alright, and now let's get to fishing and let's hope we can get one. I'm going to use my medium light Avidex. Whoops. My medium light Avidex. Going to put on some little red worms and let's hope there is at least one Eastern Happy Cichlid down there. All right, so we got our small piece of red worm on a size eight bait holder. Above that, we got two little split shots to help with casting and sinking. Took a quick kind of half lap around this little pond lake, and I've seen dozens of fish, bluegills, Mayan cichlids, and largemouth bass. No Eastern happies. So maybe there's a couple over here under these uh, weeds and whatnot. And I would really love to catch one of those today. Such a cool looking fish, like you saw in that high resolution picture. I hope they're still in here. Oh, fish on. Ah, uh, that's a, that's a Mayan. Let's pull this guy in up here, first fish of the day, but not the one that we are going after. All right, first fish of the day is in the books, but it's a mine sick that I would literally, literally rather catch just about any fish than these guys. So let me drop him back. Let's get rebaited. There's some small fish out there. I can't tell what they are. I wonder if I can get one of those to bite. They seem interested. There's maybe like four or five of them over there. Oh, fish on. Nope, that is just a little baby bluegill. Yep, so I guess that was just a school of a couple little bluegills. So not the cichlid we are after. Cute little guy. Let's get him back. Let's get back on the hunt. Oh, fish on. That's just, oh, not a bluegill, it's a red ear sunfish, but not what we wanted either. All right, so this is a red ear sunfish, AKA shell cracker, a little red ear right there. So three fish, three different species, not the one we're after though. Hmm. Oh, fish on. Just a little bluegill. All right, cute little bluegill, but just a bluegill. I catch enough of these basically everywhere I go. So let's get back to the hunt. Oh, fish on. Uh, another red ear. All right, another good looking red ear sunfish. Don't catch these a lot, so this is a, it's a nicer catch than what I normally get, but not why I drove up here. Oh, what do we got? Another bluegill. So, it's not looking hopeful. 
All right, another bluegill. If I get any more of these kind of boring fish, I'm just gonna probably skip it. I think I'm gonna head over to the other side of the lake, try to fish there for a few minutes, and then I'll hit over the uh, canal that I was talking about. fish on. It's a bigger one. What is it? Red ear? Another red ear. All right, so over on this side, I picked up this one red ear, a couple bluegills, but no sign of that cichlid. So I think this is going to do it for this little pond lake thing. I'm going to head over to that canal next. All right, so it might not look like much, and that, that's because it's not much, but they've been caught out of this little ditch here. I don't even want to call this a canal. Problem is, water level is very low, clearly, and the water is very clear, so the fish can see me really well. But we'll drop this worm around. Hope we can get into one. Fish. Oh, that was another bite. Okay, so we got a couple fish down there. Let's see if I could hook up with one. Find out what they are. That was another bite. Okay. I have a feeling they're going to be small. Maybe I can get a little closer here. Oh, almost fell. There's some really small fish down there. I don't think I have my Tanago hooks with me or else I'd put that on right now. Got it, what is it? What, what is, oh yes! Is this it? I think this is it, hold up. Yeah, so I am 99% sure this is an Eastern Happy Cichlid. Finally was able to hook up with one. The hook, I mean, look at the size of this guy compared to the size of the hook. So no wonder I couldn't hook up with them. This looks like a female, though. The colors are a little bit blander, but this is um, almost positive an Eastern Happy Cichlid. New one for my life list. Took me three days to catch, or three fishing trips to catch this guy, but we got one. So quick pick, we'll let this one go. I'm gonna keep fishing, try to catch a couple more, maybe a male that looks a little bit better. But I am happy, new species for the life list. We got one. All right, so 99% sure that that is an Eastern uh, happy cichlid. There's always the off chance that I'm a complete moron and that is some other fish, but I'm pretty sure we accomplished our goal for the day. But yeah, let's keep fishing. Let's try to get a male because the males look really, really nice. They got some blue and yellow on them. Pretty sure that was a female, but I'm happy. Mission complete, but let's keep fishing. Oh, fish on. What is this? Oh, different species, but new ones for the day. We got ourselves a jaguar cichlid. All right, I don't get jaguar cichlids too often either, but this is a nice little guy. So second species out of this canal. Oh, and fish off. They just can't get the hook in their mouth. Like they're really aggressive. I see a lot of them down there. I guess they're, I don't know. Maybe a mix between a couple different species. Uh, ooh, so this is another new species for the day. Some sort of tilapia. I wonder if this is a new one for the life list as well. I don't know. Is it a Mozambique tilapia? I don't know. But let's take a quick pick and look at this guy. All right, new species for the day, that's for sure. But this might be also a new one for my life list. That I am not positive about. It's definitely a tilapia. It might be a Mozambique. 
it got a couple couple dots right there running along its uh, lateral line area. Got some blue here right under the eye. Got some banding on the tail. I don't think it's a Nile or a blue. So I wonder if it's a Mozambique. Not a black chin. I don't know. I'll find out later. But this is another cool little catch. What do we got? Uh, another Jaguar. All right, second Jaguar of the day. This one's a little bit smaller. Another really cool looking cycle that I don't get to catch too often. So this canal is pretty, producing pretty well. What do we got? I think, ah, uh, what is this? It looks like another one of those tilapia, I think. Yeah, so I think this is another one of those tilapia. Now, I'm really hoping that first fish I caught was an Eastern Happy and not, not just one of these guys. But I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that one was a little bit longer, different facial structure. I don't know, might be a Mozambique, I'm not sure. What do we got? Oh, yes! Yes! We got a male Eastern Happy. Perfect! Look at this guy. This might be one of the most beautiful fish I've ever caught. This is for sure an Eastern Happy. Beautiful blue on the head. Kind of orangish yellow red on the body. Two really nice orange dots there. I didn't know they had that. Blue and red up there on the dorsal fin. Let me actually move this guy in the sun real quickly. Try to show him to you a little bit better. I know it's sunset maybe that won't work but oh, this is a beautiful fish so we definitely this is definitely an eastern happy beautiful male so happy i stopped at this canal all right let's keep fishing just to see what else we can catch but i am so happy we, we accomplished our goal plus a whole bunch more got two eastern happies that last one was absolutely beautiful maybe a new species in that tilapia maybe it's a mozambique i don't know but this has been a great day. What do we got? Uh, another baby male Eastern Happy. So I guess there is a, a handful of these guys in this canal. All right, not as good looking as the first uh, male we caught, but still beautiful colors on this male. It just has so many colors on it, like blue, black, green, red, yellow, orange. I don't see any purple, but I'm sure it's on there. So these are a beautiful fish. What do we got? Another one of those tilapia. This is a little bit bigger. All right, so I'm fairly certain that this is not a blue or a Nile. It's not a spotted. So I guess Mozambique is the only logical thing going through my head. So I'll find out for sure. But if it is, this is another new species for the life list. Fish on. Another Jaguar cichlid. All right, little Jaguar cichlid. So my third one of those guys for the day. At this point, I'm just playing catch and release. I don't think there's any other species in there that I haven't caught yet, but these guys are a bunch of fun. All right, so that is going to do it. Successful day, mission complete. We got three, I believe, Eastern Happy Cichlids two beautiful males and one not so beautiful female. They might be my new favorite looking cichlid species that I've ever caught. Might be a tie with the jewel cichlid, I'm not sure, but that one, the, the first male I caught was absolutely gorgeous. Every color under the rainbow on him. I guess they're probably gone from that pond that I fished at. They used to be caught there, 
I don't know if they're still in there, but clearly they're still around at least this area. We've got a couple here in this canal, and if you want to get them, you're gonna probably have to be okay killing yourself because this canal is probably the most difficult that I've ever fished. Super steep, super sandy, there's no way nowhere to get any footing, but it was well worth it because I got one new species on my life list, maybe two. That's a Mozambique tilapia, it's gonna be two new ones. So it's been a great day. Hope you guys liked it and I'll see you next time.